Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Donna Phillips. Today we continue in our series on political parties as part of the Civil Discourse and American Legacy Project. We are joined today by special guest Dr. Lester Brooks, American History Professor Emeritus from Anne Arundel Community College. Welcome, Dr. Brooks. Thank you for having me. Sure. Dr. Brooks, how did political parties continue to evolve during the Jacksonian era? In the election of 1824, Andrew Jackson is running for the first time. And by that time, one of the original political parties, the Federalist Party, had collapsed. Now, the Republican Party begins to turn on itself because they don't have anyone to fight other than themselves. Uh, and the outcome will become, will be two new political parties. Uh, the followers of John Quincy Adams will be called the National Republicans. Ultimately, uh, in the election of 1828, we get the followers of Andrew Jackson calling themselves the Democrats. Uh, also, we now have a popular vote. And so now electioneering begins to explode on the scene because they have to get the people out to vote. So now we're going to see uh, the electioneering take off. And the Jacksonians will be excellent at bringing out the people to vote. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Brooks. 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute.